everyone, good morning. Uh, today we're going to do a lovely transformation on our patient Sylvia. So Sylvia is part of our 60 plus cohort and um, we have already done an intervention on her about four months ago and it, it's called the Profound RF. Uh, that's the device right over there and Alvin can grab that. Okay, perfect. So what do we do there? What we did with the Profound RF is in a lot of my clients over 60, the skin in the mid to lower face and neck area gets quite loose. And to jump right into dermal filler, I think is not the most optimal approach. So I like to tighten up the skin first, and then usually about four, five, six months later, I will do my dermal filler protocols. So we've tightened up her mid face lower face neck area. So basically what you notice after the profound RF is an increased snap back of the skin. So this is a 68 year old patient and look at the skin snapping back. Because of an increase in elastin, hyaluronic acid, and collagen. Okay, so the collagen has not only been increased, it's also been um, improved from a loose structure to a more um, symmetrical, tighter structure, and it's evidenced on this snap back test that we do on the skin. So what we're gonna do with Sylvia is basically several stages of my three-stage approach. So the first stage is gonna be my lateral vector lift, and the most important area is the cheek area. So the cheek area has a tendency as we age to basically drop and move inward, creating the nasolabial folds, creating a depression underneath the eye, and creating a bit of sag um, in this uh, jowl area. So what we do with the lateral vector lift is we start off with a temple injection, which is one of our anchoring injections right up in this area, about half a syringe, can go up to a full syringe depending on the client. We then do a cheekbone injection, which is actually a retraction injection, a series of three injections to basically, so we pull back and inject onto the bone in this area. And then we actually, above the masseter muscle, but with a cannula, we actually then take another about 0.7 cc's of the voluma and we literally create these struts into this, in a lateral um, direction that at the end of the day is going to do this. It's going to lift this all up, softening the nasolabials, improving the jawline in this area and giving an overall lifted appearance. And because her skin has got a nice snapback, this is really gonna be quite imperative with her. Okay. Um, the second intervention, because most of my clients, when they come in for this, they do three stages. So the first stage, um, minus the profound RF, was the lateral vector lift. Four months later, uh, when they do follow-up for their Botox, we'll then do the jaw, chin enhancement. Now, what does that entail? So, Lynn, if you can focus down here. So basically what happens is the tissue between this area and this area begins to collapse. The chin ends up coming up, you end up getting this line called the marionette line forming out here and you get this sag laterally happening. So what happens is in a jawline, chin enhancement, we reverse all that. So we create structure where structure has been lost. We then also build the corner of the mouth up and go in along this lower jawline. All of those things will effectively bring the chin out and soften up this whole area. So when you combine that with the lift laterally, you have a rejuvenated face. Okay. procedure today. Dr. Kuzmar is very fastidious, which is why I trust him so much. Wouldn't go to anyone else. I'm going to be very happy and I know that I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of this.